Hi everyone, it's Carrie. Hello, welcome to my channel if you are new here. Welcome back if you've been here before. So guys, today is Vlogoween Day 2. Now, for this video, we're going to be doing a story time. First off, guys, see if flies from around. There are a couple of flies. Please excuse that. I want to share you share with you guys a story how I got lost on Halloween night. Yeah, guys, this video is normally made further along in my vlogoween history, but this video is being made so early because of the fact that it's going to be a rainy cold day again today, so I'm going to see her vlogging again at 3 o'clock in the morning. But it's so challenging. So guys, I was going to do how I say I started like secondhand books. I show you guys my entire Narnia book collection. But we're going to have to do this one for now. For those of you guys, let's get in the video. Anyway, guys, October Halloween 2006. Starting out, you guys, you pop guys, and like any other Halloween. Okay, I got to go to my cousins, we got our costumes on. I actually had a homemade Draco Malfoy costume. My parents couldn't afford to buy it for me. One, two, whatever I couldn't afford to. So when I had a homemade one, Mom said, I had, I was Malfoy before, but we had to like, lower it. I know, guys, my shirt says my grandkids make my hearts. But I don't have grandkids. But it's a cute shirt. Anyway, guys, I have two bad Halloween memories. One I'm not going to share because it's a very personal thing with the family. You know, I'm just going to share. Anyway, guys, we all got together on Halloween with a bunch of us kids. We went off to buy my grandma's old house where my uncle lives. And we all went to my grandma's house. And then we went over to my aunt's house. My aunt's. You guys are just before you guys know, I have two aunts that are the same gender couple. We went to my aunt Karen and aunt Chris's house to go actually to training. We got candy and all. One of my little cousins got separated from us, so we all broke off to find them. The problem is, guys, I'm not from that neighborhood. I'm from a few neighborhoods over. So I got separated somehow from everyone else. But anyway, and I couldn't find my way back to everyone. Now, this is the good thing of carrying it. Just call you on your cell phone, right? Guys, this was 16 years ago. So this is before cell phones were invented. Well, no, they, they were invented. They were invented. We just didn't have them. <laughs> we just didn't have them. We're, we're, well, I grew up, guys, in a relatively pretty poor family. So both one side of family is pretty poor. So we don't we're, 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 we're middle class. We're like, we're like middle, middle class, guys. So we didn't have cell phones. I couldn't pick up the phone, but like text or inbox me. They keep carrying it. Because sometimes you can call me. My cousin Katie can testify this. You can call me and I won't hear you. <laughs> or I won't know you're hearing me. The one that you called me on the boss line. So I was going to DM you. And I was like, no, it's me. I just can't, you know, can't see it. Any of you guys, back to the story. Um, We all got a bunch of candy and we all took off in different directions. I hit the same house like five times. Got a whole bunch of candy. Hey guys, my mom totally overreacted. Like she was like, "Oh no, you're gonna die!" And anyway, guys, let me get to why I took off. Anyway, guys, I got separated from my cousins. I know I played my hair, guys. It's a tick. Anyway, I was playing. It's a tick I have. Anyway, guys, I was hanging out with my cousins. We were talking. Whatever. We all got separated. And I'm not gonna say anyway. My mom was back at my aunt's house. And they said, oh, no, 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 Shell, the kids are old enough to trick-or-treat on their own. They're 14. You know, they're big enough to be trick-or-treating on their own. Anyway, we all got separated from each other, but everybody else was in the neighborhood. So getting back together, they knew where to go except for me. Anyway, guys, this this event is really sad from back on for me. And this, this whole event scarred me for Halloween, guys. For the rest of my life, I have a sour taste in my mouth for Halloween. Even though I love Halloween, I have a sour taste in my mouth because of this. Anyway, guys, Halloween did not go off well. I had a ton of candy, but my dad was parked across the street. Like I said, I'm from about a neighborhood or two over. So my dad had the car parked. My brother was home. 
So my parents could not find me. So they called my house to see if I was there. And then they called my other house, which is now the currently the house I live in. And they called my other house to see, you know, if I was there. I was there. Well, they called, they called there. We called my neighbor, who still is there, to see if I was there. She went, no. She said, I don't want to get my father. Like, what, what's going on? He went, Janet, it's Carrie Ann at the house. She went, no, why, why, why? What's what's going on? I said she, she took off. We don't know where she is. We don't we don't know where she is. Anyway, guys, we eventually all got. Anyway, guys, it turns out I had met a boy when I could not find my way back to my aunt's house, who was supposed to show me the way back to my aunt's house. These group of boys. Now, guys, I was having nightmares at that time, so I thought they were going to do something to me. I'm being a fourteen year old girl. That pepper gel came right out of my purse and spread me nice. He said, what? Wait, wait, he went, wait, wait, wait. We're not them kind of guys. We would never hurt a female. What are you, what are you, don't mace it. I was going to mace them right in the eyes. Anywho. They said they'll send back to my house. How the mom was kind of interested in me. He had long hair, kind of. I don't know if it was a part of guys. Real long black gothic guy. I said, what are you dressed up as for Halloween? He said, I'm not dressed up. I said, I dress every year. I said, oh, I'm Draco Malfoy. You're your Harry Potter character. He said, you don't Harry Potter robe. I was like, my own robe I made. This store sort of bought robe, but it was altered. It was stars don't fit me. Anyway. You know, I started to get, okay, hey, my parents don't know I'm missing. I was going to go like an hour. My family was first, I was going like five hours. I was going like an hour. Who knows, guys? It was 16 years ago. I can't tell you. It's been 16 years this Halloween. Anyway, so guys, I gotta get back to my house, and I go back to the same house I've been to two times. And I asked this man for help. I said, "Look, sir, I'm really lost." So I go to head. I go by this neighbor man's house. I only looked around the corner from my aunt, and I said to him, "Look, I'm Karen and Chris, and certain my aunt's last names and niece." Certain my aunt's last name's niece. I said, oh, yeah, you are. He said, you've been here by here three times. Go home. I'm not giving you any more candy. I said, look, sir, I'm really missing. I'm from, it's certain my neighborhood. I'm not from here. The neighborhood's over. I'm really lost. He said, whatever, get lost. Anyway, guys, when my family realized I was missing, the police was called. My mother arrived in my neighborhood. She acted like I was dead. She called in the entire family. It blew up really badly. The police never showed up. It was just really bad. Anyway, guys, when somebody came to my aunt and said, Are you guys? Because, I mean, my aunts knew. My aunts are very well known in this neighborhood. Stop bathing alarm like, to every mother that I was missing and to help find me. Anyway, my aunt went around there and the neighbors, like, Have you seen my niece Carrie and, um, if he doesn't see well. My aunts don't like to point out what's wrong with me. They're like, um, you know, more, because my aunt was thinking I had had a seizure, guys. If you guys don't know, I I thought I was going to have a seizure today, anyway. Wait, guys, I take seizures. Sorry, guys, this is my refrigerator. If you guys did not know. My aunt was thinking I had had a seizure somewhere. I was too much candy. My blood sugar got high and I was in a seizure. And she was worried. So my aunt Chris went around to ask the neighbors. And the man was talking to my aunt. My aunt said, did you see a young girl dressed up as Draco Malfoy? Homemade Draco Malfoy costume. And the man's face turned bright white. She said, is that a yes? Sir, his name. I don't remember. He went, I seen that girl. My aunt went up to him. Because my other aunt Karen just had knee surgery. My aunt Karen had knee surgery. She walked up to him and said, that's Carrie Ann. And stood on my picture. He said, that girl was here three times. Karen. I'm sorry. She went, um... Christine, which is my aunt's first name, you know, Christine, that girl was here three times, three times. I chased her away. She went, you chased away my special needs niece. Now, guys, I'm hyperglycemic, so it is considered special needs. I have asthma. I'm medically fragile. We know I'm legally blind almost of the time. She said, so you're, in my eyes, dance. The call says, so, you, so you're telling me you chased off my disabled niece. Are you are you kidding me? He said, Karen, Chris, I didn't know. He said, well, she said, well, Karen's not going to want to hear it. He said, honest, 
honest, I, I haven't seen your niece. I, I didn't know. I, I seen her just about three times, and that was about two hours ago. That's when my aunt started saying, when did she, was she here last? About two hours ago. Now, we're going to be Africa, something like that, guys. I'm exaggerating. Like an hour, half hour. She went, so you're telling me that you were the last known person when they started to get together to get my whereabouts and else. You were the last known person to have seen that girl alive. And she said, you know that girl is medically fragile. She has seizures, right? And hypoglycemia is dangerous. He said, she's a diabetic. And yes, and she doesn't, she does too much candy in her system. She can get really sick. And my aunt said she just told him off and said, you understand that you're the last person to see my niece alive. She's disabled. We need to find her. Her parents are worried sick. And you guys, I went back to my car. I found them back to my car with the boy I took off with and went, daddy, because I couldn't see he wasn't in the car. I tapped on the door, daddy, daddy. And I looked in and seen he wasn't there. I'm like, oh, no. Guys, anyway, I ran over to my cousin. Jessica, she went, Carrie Ann, where have you been? I went, with the boy, and we got separate from that boy, because he started talking about some girl named Rachel. Mm. Anyway, he started talking up on these girls, and I was like, I'm not going to put up with this, you womanizer. <laughs> anyway, guys, I got in a lot of trouble for that night. I was never allowed to go trick-or-treating again, um, so I was grounded. Anywho, neither one held true. It was just, I ended up meeting a boy. I call him Cole. We hated actually gave, we gave him my number and I waited by and waited by the phone. Uh, he did call about two days later and we started dating and my mother was not happy with him. He admitted he beats up girls. <laughs> not funny, guys. I'm an abuse survivor. That's not funny. Anyway, anyway, we started going out. We dated for about six weeks and then we broke up. He was moving to Chester. But turns out he's my cousin's friend. A different cousin. Same cousin that's friends with Grayson, but it's, we're not talking about Grayson. Guys, help me, Susan. I'm a hip hop guy. Sorry, excuse me. Saying my baby boobs is because of my stuffed animals, which I'm looking at now. Um, anyway, guys, I tell you guys a story, honey, because I don't want this to happen to you. Anyway, the next show went out to the train. My mom said I wasn't allowed to go out anymore. But she did buy me which costume the next year. Because I went out with my next boyfriend. That actually was my longer term boyfriend. We went out to the We had fun. But anyway, guys, that, Hallow that Halloween stained Halloween for me from this point forward. It's Halloween my mother was alive. She used to run to me. I didn't think I was allowed to go out anymore after that. I went out one more year. And then went out when my mom died. Anyway, guys, my mom ran me out all these rules, like, you can't do this, you can't do that. And any time I was out from that point on with Halloween, my parents had to go with me. It was very embarrassing. Not me, last time, I was like, boy. <laughs> anyway, guys, I didn't, I never seen or heard from that boy again till I found out he's friends with my cousin. I have no desires to hear or see from that pig, and if I do, I'm going to block him. Anyway, guys, I hope you guys understand why I have a love-hate relationship with Halloween. Now, if you guys want to hear more story times, I do want to do more doll videos, like actual vlogs, like me out with the camera vlogging. But like I said, in my city right now, it's raining, it's cold. We're having a very autumn night. But until my next upload, video, remember, I love you all. Remember to comment, like, share, subscribe. Comment, like, share. Subscribe. When you that subscribe button, go over and smash that bell. You know, but every time I upload, to my next upload video, result. Bye, guys.